Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, we're gonna do another video about another piece of my gym equipment. And this is gonna be short and sweet, guys. <clears throat> I found this on uh, Marketplace. I think Marketplace or Craigslist, one of the two. Uh, earlier in 2021, and this was really uh, the beginnings of my gym. Uh, it was listed, I believe, for maybe 125 or 150 or one something like it. It was it was up over 100, and it had been on there for probably a couple weeks or a few weeks or so. And uh, so I contacted the guy and I said, "Hey, we take $75 for it," and he said, "Yep." And not only did he take $75 for it, he actually met me on the side of the road, a little ways out of town where he is, uh, where he was located. He met me on the side of the road. We talked. He helped me put it in my car, all that good stuff. So, friendly guy. What we're going to talk today about, guys, a little that I know about it is the Parabody FID Flat Incline Decline Adjustable Bench. There's the name, there's the model number. Okay, here's the bench. Okay. Now this bench is nothing unusual. It's nothing amazing. It's nothing special. These things have been around for a hundred years. Um, <clears throat> it does have adjustable uh, pull lever here with multiple settings all the way. The seat has multiple settings with this right here. You put it down here. It lays flat, put it right here, it goes up a little bit, pull it back to here, and it goes up even further. Also, one con that people might not like is that's a significant gap between the pads. Uh, a lot of people don't like uh, too much of a gap in between the pads, uh, but sometimes whenever you have that much adjustability, uh, you have to kind of sacrifice things. So, and as far as the pad quality goes, It's actually a pretty nice firm padding. Uh, is there better? I'm sure, but it, I have no complaints at all about the padding. Uh, it's perfectly fine to me. There is a knob here, and there is a spot here, which I assume is for a leg extension, uh, um, hammer, whatever that's called, a uh, preacher curl station, whatever it's called, and maybe something else. I don't know. I believe that that's a spot for that. Now, this didn't come with it. Um, I can't find a whole lot on this bench. Now, I just researched just a little bit and kind of kept clicking around and clicking around on Google and just didn't see a whole lot. But uh, as far as the build quality, I think it's it's rated for a good bit of weight. I wouldn't doubt it being a thousand pound. I wouldn't doubt. Uh, it's pretty solid. Now it does move. But that's something you're going to experience most times with adjustable uh, benches. There's going to be some movement because there are uh, points in the bench that uh, have to move. 
So along with this, along with up here, down here, 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 you know, uh, there's going to be some movement. It's a little bit different than your like uh, fixed position benches that you can buy. As far as the quality of the steel, the gauge of the steel, like I've mentioned before in my other videos, machines and benches and uh, benches and uh, all that are usually somewhere between 14 gauge and 11 gauge. Now, I don't know what this is, but it's sturdy. It holds me. I press 100 pound dumbbells on it with no problem. I use it with my Smith machine, no problem. And uh, it's, uh, it, it's a very sturdy, very reliable bench. And now let me get to the cons. Here's a couple of cons. The footprint, it's a long bench. Like it's a long bench all the way to the tip right there, the feet, all the way to the casters, the rollers in the back. That's a long space. Also, these feet can get in the way. Sometimes I trip over the front legs because they come out so far. Now I assume that that's because it's to help stabilize the bench when you have the attachments on the front, the leg extension that, you know, on the preacher curl station and all that. I'm sure that that's what that's for, to keep it stabilized so it doesn't tip forward which is a great design, but it just kind of, they kind of get in the way a little bit. Um, one thing I will say with uh, one of the exercises, a couple of the movements that I do where I lay flat, where I lay against the pad here with my face this way, uh, when I'm laying on my stomach facing this way and I'm doing some uh, uh, side extensions like for my back or what have you and I'm laying on my sometimes your hand and the dumbbell will hit the adjustable knob so when you're laying on your chest on the bench you got to make sure you kind of scoot up far enough and kind of make sure your dumbbells are just far enough ahead of that pin so they don't smack it or your hand might smack it I have had my finger kind of smack against it not too hard but hard enough that it was like it made me aware so uh, it's a good bench if you can find them cheap i recommend them uh one more con let me go ahead and throw out one more con now i haven't taken a tape measure to it that's what she said but most uh benches try to go somewhere along the lines of about 17 inches high from the floor to the top of the pad this seems like it's about three feet no it's not three feet but it's quite tall now and of course it's uh lifted up a little bit there but uh whenever i try to lay back and bench flat it stretches my legs out too far and my back too far and it can aggravate my back so shortly after realizing this i started making sure i scoot back far enough on the bench and i can put my feet up on the bench which i don't really like but that's my option right now. Now, eventually I will more than likely get another bench to replace this one, one that's a little lower to the ground. And uh, that's, that's probably my main con with that bench is it's just a little bit tall and it can be kind of uncomfortable and even tweak your back. So yeah, that's kind of, uh, that's my little rundown of the Parabody FID adjustable bench. Again, they've been around for a hundred years. Uh, well designed. It is dirty, probably a little bit there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I use it all the time. It's uh, it gets a lot of use. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this little video. Just kind of giving you a rundown of some of the pieces of equipment that I have in my gym. Uh, I'll put a little tag or whatever you know at the end of this video to get you to some of the other videos that uh, I've kind of went over uh, here the past couple days. So anyways, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. And don't forget guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And we'll see you later. Have a wonderful day. Ooh. 
Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it! <laughs> <laughs>